The primary purpose of the E3 is to provide battle management to the AOR. When originally designed, the E3 is designed to be an asset where we go in, we don't have a 24 hour capable on the ground C2 agency. So the E3 now becomes the expeditionary command and control. We're able to fly into theater. We're able to remain on station for large periods of time. And we are able to replace with one E3 with another E3. So it provides that long loiter, high overlook of the entire airspace. And we use that specifically to provide information to the people that are flying around. For example, if an F-15 needs to go get fuel, but his tanker has canceled, then it is the responsibility of the battle manager to provide that fuel uh, via another tanker. So managing the tanker breakout uh, and ensuring that that aircraft is able to stay on station and continue to execute its mission set. What we're finding is that a lot of aircraft want to work in the same amount of airspace. The radar that we have on the E3, I like to compare it to like a snow globe, where you're able to look at all of the things that are in the snow globe, right? And the the players that are in the AOR that are flying around, the fast movers, the UAVs, they have kind of like a soda straw of a radar trying to figure out like, hey, what's around me? Versus what we have, which is the entire AOR 360 degree picture out to an extended range that we're able to one, keep them safe, two, give them airspace, and three, we're allowed to provide them with the fuel and things that they need in order con to conduct the mission sets that they're doing. The other uh, role that it plays is the surveillance function, and we are able to provide our picture to the entirety of the uh, AOR and other C2 agencies so that they're able to make decisions uh, if required, or they're able to understand what's going on in the battle space. So I'd say that one of the greatest challenges for us is the second by second changes that occur in a tactical environment. For the amount of time that we're on station, we are spending almost every second of that making decisions and things that are adjusting on the fly. So being able to manage a large amount of information across several radio frequencies and communicate amongst ourselves on the jet and then get the information out as quickly as possible to support the warfighter.